hey guys, right, back onto the CX today. Not the electric, so I'm keeping that for another day. Today, uh, where is it? Where do I put these things? Ah, here. Today is sorting out the manifold intake boots that go from the carburetor to the head. So what I have here is obviously two different ones um, because of the way the, the CX500 engine is. The Vs aren't actually in a straight line. They are actually one in front of the other if you look at it closely. So that is why one boot is different to the other. But, but, but these need to be cleaned up. So I've got new rings for these before anyone says anything. Yes, they are fuel resistant rings, fuel resistant, heat resistant. The material is called Viton. They are good for these. And the other thing that I've got an issue with right there. Don't know if you can see that. If you can see that, then you've got better eyes than I have. There's a hairline crack. Put this back into focus. So there's a hairline crack going right along the edge of this. Now it's not going all the way through, it's only a little crack in the rubber but my worry is that when we put the carbs on and off, uh, shake it around a little bit, that the crack will get a little bit worse. So today I am going to first of all clean these up, secondly fix these, or try to fix these at least. I haven't seen this done before so I don't know how well this will work. If it was a crack all the way through then I wouldn't be doing this but you know a little little fracture on the surface I might as well give this a go. So what I am going to do is use this. This is heat shrink uh, rubber in a way. What you use for cables and things. Now I have been told that this is fuel resistant. Not that it matters though because it's going on the outside. Like I said, if it was going on the inside it would be a different story. This is wide enough for that to go all the way in. And then we can see if that holds. And what I am going to do as well is put a little bit of gasket sealer just on the crack so that it gives it that extra protection. So that will become hard and all sorts. So, that is today's video, but anyway, it all counts towards getting the bike running, so it has to be done, so let's get to it. There you go, there's a before and after. Definitely a sign of improvement there. I mean, that's obviously not gonna last that long. It will get dirty, it will start oxidizing, it'll start doing everything, but at least it looks pretty for when we put it on the bike, anyway. All right, so with that done, the crack is there. So, get a bit of gasket sealer. Where does it start? Along there, I'm going to run it just there. Actually, do you know what? Let's put a tiny bit more. And let's leave that to dry. So with that now dry, let's cut this roughly to size. It's a little oversized, but heck really doesn't matter because we'll cut that afterwards.
And so one down, one to go. This is all nice. I mean, these little black spots here are just where the light's catching. So, I mean, it will look nice once it's on the bike. So that is it, that is the end of another video. Simply putting these in, fixing them, make sure they're right and looking nice and neat to go back in compared to what the engine looks like. I didn't want to put them in dirty, so they've got in. Next job on my list, apart from the electrics, of course, but the electrics is a different story. I'm trying to find a regulator, rectifier that'll actually work with the lithium iron phosphate battery that I've got and I need to also get a regulator that stops charging over a certain voltage now that's the other thing is I don't want to fry my battery now there are solutions out there I know there are there has to be um, because there are CX500s out there with uh, with the same sort of charging system or sort of an upgraded charging system I should say uh, running lithium ion batteries as well so there is a solution out there I just need to do a bit more reading if if you guys have got any experience or if you've got a solution that's proven to work I don't want to blow my battery up after a month these are expensive batteries so I'd rather not do that drop me a message that'd be great apart from that next on my list is these these carbs now I haven't even looked at these yet I haven't even opened them out so that is definitely the next job for me I need to clean them all out I need to polish them, I need to get them looking as nice as what those are there uh, so they actually blend in and they actually look like they're part of a set and everything. I've got some beautiful K&Ns to put on this as well. So the K&Ns themselves are going to seriously stand out underneath that sea, underneath the tank. Oh, it's going to look beautiful. So those two will be the next jobs that I need to do on the bike itself. So a little update on the other two bikes. The GS uh, will be having a clear coat next week as well. I have ordered uh, exhaust wrap for that, so the exhaust wrap is coming also. I am going to order some new pods for the GS as well. Uh, and I'll explain why in next week's video, in Monday's video, I'll, I'll be explaining why I'm doing that. It just makes life a little bit easier. And also on the CB750, there's going to be more videos on that. So we've now got the, the hoop installed on that. The rear hoop, the frame's been cut up, the hoop's been installed. Swing arm is kind of stuck, that's a different story. That'll be another video as well. So there's so much content, so many videos I need to put up. So I might even be posting three a week next week. That is it. If you want to keep updated with all three of these builds, the GS, the CX and the CB, then subscribe. Until Monday, stay safe, have a good weekend and see you then.